Hi, in this video clip, you will see how to add PDF text or how to add files to a Schoology test or quiz. You can see that I have created a test quiz by going into my course and clicking on Add Materials. Uh, the green puzzle piece is Test Quiz. So I've already started that with this final exam demo. And if I wanted to add a material or a resource, it could be a chart, a graph, um, a poem, some sort of resource that I want the kids to be able to use for multiple questions, this is the best way to go about adding the material to your test. Click on Add Question. And traditionally, you might go to Multiple Choice. And then you might add a picture or a resource right inside one of those multiple choice questions. But rather, try this. Go to the text insert, and a pop-up window will appear, just as if you could type in regular uh, materials. So I might say, uh, as a simple thing, good luck on your final exam. And I can create that text, and it will appear as if it's one question on the test itself. So to add a material now, so if I have some instructions that might be helpful, but to add a material that I've already pre-made somewhere else, maybe it's a Google Doc or maybe it is a PDF, to, do, uh, to add that I'm going to click on Insert Content, which is this square icon with an arrow pointing in. I'm going to go over to Google Drive. Obviously I have to make sure that my Google account is connected with Schoology, so if you need some help with that please contact me. For now, I'll click on it, and if I don't see it appear in my, my menu here, I could go to search, and I have already have something here Oops. to show, and I am just, this is a Google Doc, so I'm going to click on this box to select it, and then I will use the import pull-down menu to say import embed. Now it's going to load it up, and you'll see this yellow box is here. So while I'm in creation mode, um, I'll see that this is a box. Once I click it, it will appear as a document. Now it is important to note that in my Google Doc um, or in the PDF, because it is shared in my, my Google Drive, I did use the sharing permission that anyone with the link can view the document. We could review that uh, separately if you need some help with that as well. Click Create Text. And we'll see that the document that I created is now showing up. This was just a, um, a resource for um, an AP World History test question. Now let me show you how to add some questions. Previously, I have taken questions from unit tests throughout the year, and I've added them to a test bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import questions from a bank. Certainly, I'm doing this for the, to show you how easy it is to, uh, to make tests once I've created questions. Um, I have a, my, under my naming system, I have a box for my Global 9 um, test questions. And for today, I made a Islamic Trade um, test bank folder. And I have some questions that are here. So if I go through, I've got about three or four questions. So if I go through and say, you know what, I want this question, I want this question, and I want this question. I'm going to go ahead and add them to my test quiz. And we will see that the three or four items are going to appear on the page, hopefully. Come on, Schoology. I'll try it again. I'm going to import questions. Click on the place where I've saved them. I just do one at a time, I'll do two. Add questions. So here we've got, oh, it's, it's duplicated itself. So this will be good. I'll be able to show a couple of steps. So what I could do is, is recognize first that there's going to be some test questions, uh, instructions at the top. Here's the PDF or file. And now I have to determine if these questions are exactly what I want. Um, I do know that this question here is um, maybe out of order, or maybe this is something that uh, is a repeat, actually. So let me delete that. And I'll delete these other ones, sorry. 
Uh, this was the first question. Originally, I had the question listed. So let me go ahead and edit this because I don't need that image any longer. So just to show you how to, to do this, I'll click here. And I'll get rid of this, this word question in the line. I'll get rid of that because it's already at the top of the page. My choices are here. My answer is selected. I do want to randomize choices. And I'll just click Save Question. I want that to appear first below the image. So what I'm going to do is click on reorder. So options, reorder. And now by clicking on the double headed arrow, I could move this question to the position that I want. So three is actually coming first, then one and two. Once I click save changes, it should arrange them in the order that I just sequenced and it all looks good. So these three questions are going to go to this topic. Now, if I want the kids to go to a separate page, I'm going to add a page break. Press Create. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and add another question so we'll see the fourth question. So again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab something from my question bank for the purposes of showing you how to add questions quickly. And I'll just grab anything. It doesn't really matter. I'll grab a matching question. Add. But I want that to be on a separate page, right? So let's make sure that what I've done so far, here is instructions, here is text, and then there are three separate questions, a page break, and then a separate page for this next set of questions. So what I'm going to do is preview it. This is going to show me as if I'm a student using um, my laptop. It'll appear the same way on an iPad. Here are the instructions. There looks to be a line. I'm not sure if that comes up on the recording very well. Question one, question two, question three, and then next page. So question four should appear as this map for um, a matching question. I hope this helps. If you have any questions regarding adding resources like PDFs, Google Docs, um, slides, whatever the case is, multi-page documents, it's all easily done by that add text feature that we saw in the very beginning of add questions. So I'm going to add text. So to do that, add it all in. If you need any help, let me know. I hope this helps.